for one minute. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. So. How do we do that? Oh wait, I just built them? It's Yeah, it sounds like I just built them um, here as well. Let's try that. Okay. We have to build a relay dish. Easy enough. We have to build a molecular beam emitter. Oh my god, that thing is huge. <laughs> The control console. And it needs power. Fuck. They need a lot of power actually. Ooh. 22, 27. I need 27 power. gonna do some of these Shit. <laughs> yeah I know this looks messy it's it's fine. Let's see, do I have enough? Where's five? It has five. Uh, requires two. Has two. Oh, this one requires twenty. Oh, fuck. Uh, Scrub this car so I get more speeds. Oh, it doesn't have enough power? Let's build one more then. Screw it. There we go. So I think I'm done. Work with Tom. We'll do anything we can to support you. We need a metric ton of power to get this to work. <clears throat> the beam emitter's alignment with the platform has to be perfect. Otherwise, we're just making art here. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. 
I get it. No. Why does it not go here? There we go, okay. Hey Vampire Werewolf, how are you doing? So I think I am actually ready now to get into the Institute. It's gonna get exciting. We got activity there. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Patriot? Fuck. Patriot. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps Synths escape to freedom. Oh. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Huh. How can I contact him if you know nothing about him? Patriot devised a method to communicate with us one way. The plan hinges on us using this method to close the loop and contact him back. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Seems like I'll a cool my person. Best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Of course. Bring it, Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan sequence. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Oh boy. Well, are we ready for this? I think we are. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut a few corners. Are with you the ready, scan. Piper? So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully, we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. Oh, all great. Right. Feeding our baby <laughs> some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man. Uh, don't worry. Oh my um, god, I think I'm fucked. Do whatever you can to gain their <laughs> trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can. About synths. About the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the we got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nobody else can. Now. Here we go. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. And they did not. I get the feeling they already know I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually all alone as well, right? Piper is not with me. Nope. Cannot take any companion inside here. But this is gonna be interesting. The terminal. That's me, I guess. <laughs> really?
rerouted signal. So they do know I'm here. Unless no one is actually checking the locks. Father? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. This is just great. Did I fucking call this? They already know I'm here. <laughs> this is... Uh. Oh well, let's go. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Cause. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Oh yeah, my son. Forgot about him. <laughs> well, not really, but let's be honest. Like, this, the son is kind of... Oh, wow. Is that him? Yeah, it is. Sean? Yes, I'm Sean. Holy shit, what? Is it really him? Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? I'm your dad. Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? This is very strange. He immediately believes that, you know, that I'm his dad. That is fishy as fuck. Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Oh, he's talking- oh, he's talking to the, the leader guy, okay. Um... What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here, help me! Who is Father? Where is father? he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? What the fuck? I didn't do anything! Uh oh. Is that him? Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. So it's just, it's just a synth, yeah. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects huh. of extreme okay. emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Well, hi. Of course, they have an American flag here. <laughs> Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. 
to Sean. Answers, asshole. <laughs> let's let's try to be nice and hear what he has to say, I guess. Just help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am. What? Your son. What? Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't add up, does it? Because of the earlier story with Kellogg? Like, I think we confirmed that Sean was, like, just a boy. I unless not too unless the, the Sean in Kellogg's um, memory was already this synth kind of person, right? Oh, fuck, so maybe it is too? I don't know, this is... How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod. Oh, so, so it's exactly as I actually thought it might happen, you, you know? But then you that we didn't know how much time has no passed. An infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. Okay. And yeah. here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now it's leader. That's true. If that is true, that is strange as fuck, but yeah, it's... Yeah, the only thing that's that's weird is the, the young Sean in Kellogg's mind, but it is possible that it was a synth, so the story could be true. But, okay, I need... Yeah, I need more answers. Like, why this did... Really is a matter why important. did they go for Sean? Why did they need him to, to lead them? You know, they kidnapped him for a specific plan. If that plan was to, to have a new leader, why why did it have to be him? The fuck? But why? Why take a chance? Hey, Wesley. Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? Yes! That that's time, what I want to know. <laughs> the year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Yeah, okay, but why him? <laughs> Yeah, wh why exactly? Why can I not ask? Why was it exactly him they had to take? So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this. Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Oh, Even except the people in the cryopods. Yeah. The world above. Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. Yeah, okay. Frozen in time. Oh shit, that actually makes sense, from the yeah. Radiation it just went for the youngest, that had crept into every you know, not radiated survivor. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. Oh shit. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths so I'm basically the grandfather of every synth. 
<laughs> what the fuck? This is kind of crazy. Uh. Yeah, was he here the whole time? And you? I guess he was. You've been down here the whole time. I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Okay. Let's ask him everything. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral. Uh, they just shot her in cold blood. <laughs> collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place? Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Wait a second, though. When Kellogg kidnapped the infant Sean, Kellogg was already a grown adult. And then 60 years passed after that? What the f- Dude, Kellogg must have been like 80 or 90 years old by then, what the- I guess unless- unless they modified him so much that, you know, he aged- He aged in a slower way or something? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> I don't expect you to understand or agree with Dude, he doesn't- the I cannot persuade him at all. <laughs> of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and... Oh, see? Yeah, exactly what I said. ...any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have wow. some. So he actually revenge. made me kill him what to get some kind of revenge. <laughs> to ease your mind. That's so fucked up. What the hell? It's so you're so in charge of the institute. I am the acting director. Yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. Here's him too. The institute. Thank you important it really is humanity's best hope for the future no matter what those above ground might think of us huh question now is can we actually can we actually get him to to change the ways of the institute they need your help Sean it's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. Uh. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Oh. Ultimately, God. the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just... Give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. 
And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? No, I don't think it is. I don't I don't want to be like you know, they're basically in a golden cage down here. And they assume they are something better than all of the normal people above. And they just keep using them, you know. Like, are you following? They've they've been sending like synths up there to take the place of real life humans. Yeah, no, no. That is not what I want. I won't be a part of this. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Yeah, but what about all the other people? <laughs> Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yep. <sighs> yes, well... The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? This railroad. Willing to sacrifice humans for the sake of synths. Think about that for a moment. Would you kill your fellow man to save a Nuka Cola machine? They have completely disconnected from reality. None no, have any you have. claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast at. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will kind you of take doubt it. that chance? <laughs> are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I don't know. Like, I guess I can I can let him tell me about it, but I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Uh, okay. Well... We are in a very strange situation right now, guys. <laughs> like, I'm I'm basically already sure I do not want to... to actually join the Institute. Because of all the bad stuff they did. Like, I don't think... I don't think it's right to sacrifice anyone else. Just so they can, you know, live down here in their stupid... self-built utopia. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this chance and be like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll join you guys, just to like, um, yeah, because now I can walk around freely, and you know, check out all all the stuff down here, and then I can probably still say no, I'm not going to join you. Diet, thin, and bare have no likeness at all. And, uh, oh my god, why is this so difficult? <laughs> it's supposed to be novice level, but it's very difficult.
swamp. Okay, now this one is easier. Yeah. I'm through. Got it. Ooh, information about Kellogg. Yeah, see here it says, Kellogg is a living memorial to a forgotten program. He is an augmented human being, a cyborg really, and the benefits he has received cannot be denied. But really, the scientists here could not care less about enhanced reflexes or greater combat efficiency. No, the cause of the envy is... Is... Is what? what the fuck? <laughs> okay, it just stops there. I'm gonna explore this institute very carefully. I'm gonna try to find the um, the thing that the serum that Virgil wants before I engage in any combat here at all. Can I take a shower? No, I can't. Of course not. <laughs> Where do I want to head first? On here, I guess. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive. Well, the cool thing is I can hack into the terminals here. It. Hello? What the fuck? Open the door. <laughs> that was strange, I couldn't click it. Whoa, look at all of this stuff, what the fuck? Get it all! Get it all! I assume I, I can just take all of that stuff and it's going to give me materials. I guess the water in here is clean. So, I guess let's start with 
I don't know, I guess bioscience? Let's do it. Okay, guys, 